All right, we begin with a scandal that is rocking the internet. A social media star being called out for plagiarism. The man known as the Fat Jewish has become famous for posting funny jokes and memes on Instagram. His cultural impact so wide reaching that he's even been interviewed by Katie Couric. But now it seems the tide is turning against the media personality whose real name is Josh Ostrovsky. Dozens of examples of Ostrovsky reposting material but not attributing the original poster are being discovered. Like this picture right here, it's a caption of a bulldog eating with a man, the fat Jewish cropping that image. But here, the poster even calls him out. Ostrovsky told Couric that on the internet, everything gets shared, but his critics, which include many comics and comedic writers, point to his making a living off of other people's material through sponsored posts, like this one for Craftsman Tools. The fat Jewish currently has 6 million Instagram followers. Well, moving on to Stephen Colbert, who was on the Howard Stern show yesterday when the radio host asked Colbert about being in a Rolling Stones cover band when he was younger. Colbert responded by singing a little of brown sugar, but he <laughs> didn't stop there. He got up to show off Jagger's signature strut. Brown sugar, how come you taste so good? Keep going, the dancing is great. Wow. Brown sugar, <laughs> just like a young girl should. Oh, I had enough of that. Wow. <laughs> really? That was fantastic. Am I turning you on? Yeah. <laughs> he was good. Admit it. He really does have boobs. Yeah. You got Stern and Colbert together. It's going to be magic, you know? We'd produce that show in anyway, right? <laughs> well, Colbert said that the band was called a shot in the dark, but instead they changed shot to a similar sounding shh word. Mmm because they were so bad. Yeah, yeah. We can watch that guy <laughs> all day long, both of them now. What well, yeah. we turn now from the Rolling Stones to the Beatles and their first recording contract that is soon to be up for auction. The six-page document is expected to fetch $150,000 later this month. The contract was signed by the band in 1961, including John, Paul, George, and Peter. That's right, not Ringo or officially Richard Starkey. The contract included the Beatles' first drummer, Pete Best, before he was kicked out. Yeah, people are like, Pete who? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yep. Paul and George were only teenagers at the time, and the contract was for a whopping 80 bucks. Wow, that is a 80 steal. 80 bucks. Well, and rounding out our British rock theme, our English professor deciding to live life as David Bowie. Bowie changed hmm. rock and roll by incorporating performance art through many of his personas and the professor, Will Broker, from Kingston University, well, he's going to spend the next year method acting. That's when you really get into character by trying to be somebody else. Mm. So he's going to try to be the elusive rock legend. I guess that explains it there. He will uh, only consume media available to Bowie back in the 70s. He's really getting into this here. He's even dressing as each and every one of David Bowie's characters, including the famous Ziggy Stardust, as you see here with the orange wig and all, that's him right there. And he's also posted uh, pics of himself, as well as the man who fell to the earth, the thin white duke, and Aladdin Sane. Hey, now, is this dude going to blog, this professor? Because I really liked him. Follow him on Instagram. His... Okay. Check it out. Check well, out all we'll his check costumes. It all out.